Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you a really simple way of creating some beautiful wave effects using the one coat resin from Just For You. It's a really high viscosity resin, so it's perfect for this sort of technique. I'm also using the Peacock Blue pigment paste, which I've already mixed up here. I'm using the Open Water pigment paste, which is perfect for seascapes. And then I've added a touch of the open water with some of the chameleon blue green and it just gives a really gorgeous greeny bluey shimmer. But you can literally use any colours you want. These are just the ones that I've chosen today. And then I'm also going to be using the Supreme White, which is absolutely perfect for creating your waves. Gives some really nice cells and lacing, which is exactly what you want. Okay, so we're going to go straight in, creating our ocean effect. So I'm just pouring down some of the peacock blue to start with. Then I'm going to go for some of the open water. And then we're going to finish with a bit of the open water mixed with the chameleon blue green. So just trying to create a bit of a sort of colour contrast, a bit of an illusion of the ocean. Okay, that's quite a nice even spread. Now, the next thing that I find uh, quite useful, let's just pop a few of those bubbles, um, is to add a little layer of clear now just to kind of act as a bit of a, a barrier between then your white pigment and your um, kind of blues or whatever colour you're choosing to use for your C. Um, this kind of just helps, as I say, it's a bit of a barrier. So it just kind of prevents the white from uh, sort of blending too much with the colours. It kind of helps it to uh, sort of spread nicely over the top of your C, so to speak. What I tend to do on smaller pieces like this agate slice coaster, um, you don't necessarily want to be pouring it straight from your cup. Um, to be honest, less is more anyway, I think, when it comes to these waves, because this is just the first wave of potentially, I think, two that I might do on here. The beauty with the one coat is it will cure. In a nice warm room, my temperature in here currently is 22 degrees. Um, so this will cure in two hours, which means I'll be able to come in and do my second wave. Um, so that's brilliant. But yeah, less is more definitely with the white. So I tend to just use my lollipop stick and I'll just go over it like that. Okay, and then you wanna get your heat gun. And the key is just go across once. It can be quite tempting to go over it several times, but then the white will just end up kind of becoming like a whitewash rather than creating these nice cells that you want. Okay, so you can already see some of the lovely lacing that's been created here. And the beauty with the one coat is that it won't really change too much. Um, obviously, naturally, resin does move as it cures, as we all know. Um, so if you're using a lower viscosity resin, uh, a runnier resin, then what I would say is that's fine. You can still do your ocean art, but you just need to perhaps wait till the resin has kind of thickened a little bit, maybe 15, 20 minutes into your working time uh, before you actually do your white wave. 